What is up everybody, it's your boy Chubbs. Welcome back to another video. Okay, if before we start this video, if you guys did not watch the last video, go check it out. We chose the giveaway winner. It's staying here in Cali, Los Angeles, California. Congrats to Mr. Torres out from Los Angeles. His reaction was priceless and man, I, I can't wait to see his reaction once he picks it up completely and it's his forever and or for whatever he wants to do with it. He ended up coming because I guess he was at his homie's shop over here. Um, a city over so he didn't believe it so we told him to come by and and yeah it was a pretty awesome reaction but yeah go check it out so now we only have a few things left to do to the giveaway truck before it goes into his hands like um the radiator install that we're going to be doing right now and to redo the paint job because huge respect to the shop they didn't like the previous body work so they're going to redo it all to make sure it looks good for the winner so stay tuned for that um we'll be doing that video within the next few weeks um hopefully not too long this giveaway is crazy and i want to thank all of you guys that participated in the giveaway don't worry we're gonna have way more giveaways and even better ones this is just the start guys this is just the start stay tuned but okay let's get into the um, let's get into the radiator replacement i want to give a big thank you to to jolly for sending me this this um radiator to make a video for you guys and for sponsoring this truck with the radiator since it didn't need another one since because this one is cracked so um we're gonna be doing a little unboxing right now with the radiator down in the description i'm gonna leave any link available for the radiator this fits any models of this truck that does not have e-fans this does not fit e-fans this is strictly for the fan clutch only so but i do i believe they also carry the 34 inch radiator for for e-fans like how the denali has it the denali has a 34 inch um i have that video available as well from a couple years probably like two years ago shout out to jolly once again for sending me this to make a video for you guys so let's get into the unboxing all right so like i said the link to this radiator will be in the description Along with a few other links, hopefully I can get you guys a discount code as well. That you guys could order one. So yeah, it's packaged pretty well. Okay, there we go. Radiator guide. Should be a direct fit to OEM. This down here is the top, that's the bottom. So let me show you guys the leak. The leak is right here. You can see the crack right there. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can't really see it because the, the shade. There you should be able to see the crack right there. We're gonna take off the intake, the, um, the fan shrouds, and then we're gonna drain the coolant, then go pick up some new coolant. It shouldn't have that much coolant since it does leak out, but it should still have a good amount. Damn. One cool thing that I did get is, is um, I got word that the giveaway winner wants to turbo the truck as soon as he gets it. So, man, I can't wait to give him the truck so he can do what he needs to do to it. Man, it's gonna be badass. All right, we got the cold air intake off. Now to remove the fan shrouds. All right, so we got the whole fan shroud off. You could, you could remove the van clutch if you want, but I do not want to. It's best just to work around it. All right, next thing up is we gotta catch all the coolant we're gonna drain from this plug right here. What I got down here is some cardboard, just in case it splashes. I know for sure it's gonna splash, and I have a little bucket right there. Um, you could use, I would recommend, using more of a flat bigger longer tray just so like that it won't splash that much and all you have to do is just rinse the truck but i know for sure something's gonna get on the driveway so i'm gonna have to wash that off after but let's get to it all right so now i took off the top tube right here that goes into the water pump use some old vice grips for that and then i took the one right here the tubing right here that goes to the coolant overflow 
but now we're gonna do the same with this one right here that goes into the um that goes into the the what's it called the throttle body some picks to take the little pins off of this to remove these transmission lines and then we'll be good to unbolt it this should be a 13 or 15. okay so i do not have a pick so i ended up using these tweezers that i used to weed my decals and i want to show you guys in case you don't know and you end up trying this by yourself okay so look this is the pin you need to take out i already have it taken out here but it goes in this gap and it goes around here so Oh, it already went back in. Let me show you guys how to take it out now. Just so like that you guys know, in case you guys try this by yourself. So, this is what I did. I can't do it holding the camera. Oh, no, it's not focused, okay. So pretty much, that's pretty much it. You just need to pry it out and then take it off completely. See, there it is, pried out already. And then I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, right there. So it pretty much just wraps around the the lines, so they won't pop out at any time or anything. Now let me find the one that fell, and then the whole radiator will pop off. This is one thing I love about these years and models of Chevys and GMs. They're easy to work on by yourself. You don't really need a, for something like a radiator, you don't need to take it anywhere. Water pump, you don't need to take it anywhere. There's so much stuff in here that you could do by yourself. It's overall just a great starter motor when you're getting into doing these things. But we do need these rubber pieces right here for the new radiator. So let me take those off real quick. So here they are, and all I did was push them out of there since they are rubber. And same thing with here, we're just gonna push them out. Sorry about that burp. Okay, fan shrouds are back on. Now for the clips, should have four of them, two on each side. And then the eight millimeter screws. All right, everything's put back together. Time to go get some coolant and fill this, fill this truck up and all right, let's go get some coolant. Our ride is gonna be the Denali with the rip seat. some coolant all right now we're gonna fill up the orange good stuff if it ain't orange I don't want it for my truck and then we're gonna start it up with the cap off so all the air bubbles any air that's inside the radiator or in the air water pump or anything would come up so let's do it all right so right here it looks like it's all filled up but once we start it it's gonna sink back in all right guys, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment, or you could hit me up on my personal um, Instagram, Big O' Chubbs, you guys already know the deal. If you don't know the deal, my Instagram, email, Snapchat would be down in the description, go ahead and hit me up. I do my best to reply to every single comment. Um, 
I know there's a lot of I have a right now I'm pretty backed up on pretty much everything orders um, I still have to do all the May orders some from uh, from April and I get a lot of you guys messaging me if your, your order has shipped out and everything um, so I'll get you I'll get to anybody that messages me eventually and but either way I try to get you guys on time or within a week or so big shout out to all you guys for making this giveaway possible and the next giveaway which we haven't we, we haven't we don't have a truck yet as as of today uh, mid-june um, but we'll get there and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment if you're not subscribed consider subscribing i would really appreciate it and it'll help grow the channel a lot but that's gonna be it for this video big shout out again to jolly for sending me this this uh, radiator if you guys want to get it like i said down in the description link is there and like i said i'm gonna try to get you guys a discount code if it's down there i got it for you guys but thank you guys again and see you guys next time